Hey everybody, Anne here, and I am super tired. I don't know what it's been lately. It could be the weather, it could be that I'm just stressed out, I'm fear of the unknown, I just started a new job, I'm getting ready to move into my van, so I'm just kind of like, phew, I almost feel like I need a, a glass of wine or something. Anyhow, I wanted to give you an update on my plants and my worm bin progress, because things have been going pretty good. So let's start with plants. Okay, there is a Serrano pepper plant that is in a crack key set up that is the Egyptian white eggplant the oregano is not doing too good and those are butter crunch and romaine see I can't even talk got some mint got some chamomile that's the mint that I planted to see a little bit of lemon balm I have picked off that several times already so I mean it's been better oh yeah here's a pepper plant it's actually got a little fruit on it now so I'm pretty excited about that and uh, then here's our tomatoes three little fruits there we've got plenty more blooms and there's actually little tomatoes all over the plant so I'm pretty excited about that I cannot believe I actually was able to do it that's another one of the Egyptian white eggplant that's not growing some more pepper plants that's another serrano pepper and no flowers yet but it's growing fine that's another one um, that's kohlrabi not doing very well Oh, look at that. Look, it is my little cucumber. That is so hilarious. Practically no leaves. Oh, there's some chamomile. That's dinosaur kale. It's growing pretty well. I've harvested that a couple times. That's a poor pepper plant. Gonna probably get rid of that. There's my chives, and there is the rainbow chard. Um, it looks like it's getting a little bit of yellowing in there. But the chives, I got them in dirt. I use them so much. It's ridiculous. So, so much. Um, and that's another... I don't know what that is, but it's not growing very well. But yeah, there's a picture of the tomatoes. I love them, love them, love them. There's my lone cucumber on a plant that has basically no leaves. I can't believe it, it's still growing. And now let's have a little look at the worm bin. Okay, I put some butternut squash in there and I had shredded some brown paper. Um, I had put some remnants of a sweet potato in there and they eat the small pieces, but not the big pieces. I guess it's just too hard. So let's see what's up underneath this. Oh yeah. You know, they just love the butternut squash. So, and these aren't earthworms. These are just redworms. Uh, so they're a little bit smaller, but uh, they are plentiful. I've got a ton of them. They are just eating the heck out of that butternut squash. And just look at what they leave behind. It is just so, so wonderful. I've, I'm using that to grow a couple of my plants. This is just a plate of what is growing in my garden or what I prepared myself. It is red romaine lettuce with butter crunch lettuce with one of my pickled eggs on top. I sprinkled some garlic chives that I got from my little garden on top of that and some Parmesan cheese, a little bit of ranch dressing and voila, dinner. It just feels really good to be able to go to your garden, which is in my closet basically, and just pick stuff and make a meal out of it. So anyhow, um, more info on the van coming very soon. Been doing a little bit of work on it. It's moving along fine. I just need to get over my fear of drilling into metal. I think that's gonna come within the next week. I hope so, because I'd really, really love to be in there within the next week or two. So wish me luck just as soon as I can. And if I have the energy, I will make another van video, show you guys what's going on inside there. But that's all I got for now. So y'all, thanks for watching. If you liked it or disliked it, just thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever. Don't forget Get to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and uh, hit that bell <laughs> i'm so tired